Aries. Hello, darlings. How are you? Welcome in. This is March. We're looking at March for you. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Um, going to do a little contest on the channel. Um, so the most likes, whichever zodiac sign gets the most likes, I'm going to do a special reading for you. Okay, so I'll check it out on March 2nd just to see where we are. That's the date. Well, I'll make that determination. All right, my darlings. Let's see where we go. Woo, I just feel like letting go. I'm just feeling like I have this image of like, woo, you know, like on a roller coaster when you just put your hands up. <laughs> Are you doing that? Letting go. Oh, that's really cool. Ah, stag spirit. This is your card. This is, um, that's Aries right there, right there. Groundhog spirit. Time to let go. How about that? You are doing that. The miracles are endless. Cow spirit. Aw, look at that cow face. The miracles are endless. You don't have to do everything. You don't have to be the one that moves everything forward all the time. Okay? You don't have to be that. I know it's hard to understand that because your job in this life as an Aries is to take leadership, is to be the leader. But you also have the shadow of Libra and Libra is about balancing and about helping or um, not helping, um, understanding how to do relationship, right? So Libra is very much seeking balance and Aries is like, I'm going this way, I'm the leader. So you have both of those things in you. The miracles are endless. So beautiful. Oh, I love that card. Communication is the key. Eight of wands. Eight of swords. Hierophant. Lovers. Really making a choice to walk away from some, some hardcore stuff. Okay, queen of pentacles. Earth sign or Gemini could be making a decision between two different kinds of relationships evolving here nine of swords nine of wands you see evolving eight eights to the nines page of swords need more information I feel like some of you could be moving away from a commitment that you have There's another person. Could be Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a Gemini. And the reason is that you feel bound up, you feel suffocated, you feel there's not good communication. And this has been taking a really long time. You've been really weighing the options here. I feel like you're very nervous about change. Nervous about change. King of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Two of Wands, another decision card, Nine of Pentacles. This person is single. Yeah. Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um... I do feel like you're worried about the financial fallout of this. Okay? You have somebody who is very comfortable in the life you've created, and it's not a life you want anymore. So there could be texting going on between you and this new person. All right? Really looking out to the universe, wanting a bigger life. Wanting a bigger life here. And the financial fallout is not insignificant. All right, that's one of the reasons why this is taking a long time. Two years, maybe. Magician, Queen of Cups, Moon. Um, 
I guess, well, I'm not going to guess, but I do feel like the other person has a ton of fear. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in a relationship with you. This new person could be an earth sign or an air sign or a um, Gemini. I feel like this person that you're with right now and have been so comfortable with over a long period of time is terrified. You feel it. You know it. Even if you're not married to this person, they're terrified of being alone. And yet, you you know, the more they put on you the need to be together, the more you're like, eh, I don't want that. It just feels, it reminds you, it's reminiscent of your parents' marriage or something like that. Been trying to decide this for a really long time. Six of Pentacles. Um, this other person is free, single, like I said. And I do feel like you, they feel nurturing to you. They feel um, like they can stand on their own two feet and that's very attractive. Right, they have stability. Three of cups, three of wands, oh yes, third party. Um, five of cups, four of wands, sun. It, this is a little bit like um, you're gonna have to break a few eggs kind of thing to be happy in your life. Um, you were in this other relationship. There's, this is definitely third party stuff. Um, you were, <clears throat> you were with this person to protect them or to help them, um, feel stable. It's not your job to make another person feel stable. They have to feel stable in themselves. That's the lesson they're learning here. You can't do it for them but you've been trying to. Um, I feel like the thing that's precipitating this is could be that they want um, to get married. They want to make this more committed. That's what the decision is here. They want to make this more committed and the more they push for that, the more you're like, eh, eh. So you're like, I want a healthy relationship. Why is this, eh, why is this something I don't want? And it's because this other person is looking to you, expecting you to give them the life they want. So you're having a lot of worried nights, a lot of sleepless nights about this. And you're worried that for you to make plans and move off in terms of going on your future, they're going to be left behind and they're going to fall. Okay? You're worried about that because this person is not learning their lesson. As far as I can see. Seven of Pentacles, it's been a lot of time here. Okay? It's a lot of time. Has been a lot of time and effort. And I feel like now's the time for this conversation. If you're going to get what you want, you're going to have to say it out loud. That's the only way it's going to come. If you're going to get what you want, you got to say it out loud. Why won't you say it out loud? This is the lesson. This is the lesson. Um, you may have had a role model who wasn't strong enough. Okay, you might have had a father, one of your parents, who never spoke up for themselves. Somebody didn't speak up. And it just kind of went on. There was no good. It just was, is, it just was what it was. Yeah. And so now you're going to have to overcome that legacy of not speaking up or not saying what they wanted.
And you're going to have to do that to get what you want. You have to speak up. Aries, you can do it. This is, this is who you are. That's why you're in Aries in this life. It's your job to speak up for yourself. All right, so let's see where we go here. Um, link is below for you. I will look at um, Taurus, Gemini. I said Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Gemini. This other person is likely a, a water sign, so I'll look at that too, okay? All right, link is below for you. I'll see you over there.